good morning everybody or good evening or whenever you may be watching this um, got up a little late today I stayed up late last night uh, doing some projects on the van I uh, had to work on my fan my roof fan somehow I, well okay let me back up first I thought water was getting in the in the you know leaking around the roof fan but because uh, you know it's been raining here a few days but I think I figured out what it is. It's so cold, you know, outside when I'm getting that. I'm trying to think this through. the reason I'm stumbling over my words, but it's so cold outside. And then with me running the heat or, or cooking on my stove, it's causing that plastic lid to condensate, which is it's normal. You know, it happens. I see that all the time. But what I didn't realize, instead of it just dripping off the plastic, you know, straight down to the floor or or drying up or whatever it was running down and getting in between the framing of the fan where the fan is framed in around the roof and it was staying it was being kept right there it wasn't spreading out in the roof but what it was doing it was getting on electrical parts what controls the fan you know and uh, I noticed my fan was been acting a little crazy here lately you push a button and it just had a mind of its own it's got a remote control so you said push a button so anywho, that's a long way of me saying that's what I worked on this last night. Took it all apart, and I think I got it fixed. Uh, I've, ch I've changed a few things on it as far as where the water would actually drain. It would, should, I don't want it to, but it should drip off the plastic lid into the floor. And also, I coated. I had some of that roof seal that uh, you know, rubber coating, a cool seal. That's what I'm trying to think of. I had a little bit of that left, so I put that, you know, on it. Maybe that'll stop the condensation of the lid. I don't know. I'm just trying things. But anywho, yeah, I stayed up late last night. And I'm sitting in town, so that's I'm watching people drive by. I love watching people drive by. I'm a people watcher. But anyway, I got a plate. I think I'm going to run into Walmart, get some few supplies. Uh, got to get some groceries, some grub. I need some more water to drink. I buy my drinking water. Um... I mean, I, I know there's places I can get it where it'd be safe to drink, and I use my filter. I just feel better buying my drinking water, and even then, you don't know what's in it, but it gives me peace of mind thinking that, you know, it's, it's really safe to drink. But anywho, I'm going to buy me a couple gallons of drinking water, and I need to get a few... What else was I getting? I didn't make my list, and so I can't remember. I'll figure it out when I go in there. I'll walk past the $5 aisle and, and buy everything in there for $5 and not get what I actually wanted. I'm going to take my little GoPro in and maybe just carry a little bit. This so you see after Black Friday what Walmart looks like. Um, and I'm, I'm thinking maybe the shelves might be a little bare. I don't know. I'm talking about the food aisle. because Just because of the holiday. Not no kind of crazy shortage in the world or nothing like that. Just because of the holiday. So we'll take a look at that while I'm in there. And uh, Yeah. And that's about it for now. So let me... Quit yapping, get up, get my stuff ready, and go into Walmart. I'm in the Walmart parking lot right now, so all I gotta do is walk in. But, but yeah, let me get all that done, and uh, I'll come back out and talk.
is coming to an end. It's a little after five o'clock. Um, I think I'm gonna settle down and call it a day. Uh, it's raining outside and cloudy and gloomy, so ain't really much I can do outside anyway. But um, got all my errands done today. Did a little walking, just not real far, just a little walking trail. And got my shopping done today. Uh, let me turn you around here. My refrigerator's full. I know it's dark in there, but yeah, I like Pop Tarts. My cabinet's full. I mean, it's, I've got plenty of food. Got my refrigerator full. I got this little latch right here. I got a latchet or, um, man, I can't believe it's that hard to do with one hand. I have to latch it if I can get it because when I'm driving, that'll come open everything, come out. Um, I did pick him up another toy. I got me this as seen on TV tack light. I've had several of them actually. Yeah, this is my junk cabinet. This is where I throw all my junk. This is an old one. I got the tack light. What's this say? Light my, let my, I don't know. But anyway, this is a, as seen on TV tack light. Some of that stuff is pretty good. Now, I know a lot of that as seen on TV is garbage. I understand. I agree. I've had this thing about three years. Still works great. But I got to put batteries in it all the time. I bought some rechargeable AA batteries that I've been using in this. But I was walking through there and I saw this. Everybody knows I'm a sucker for little trinkets. But I bought this light. Now, I've already opened it up and took it out because I had to charge it up. If you see right there, it's you don't have to keep buying batteries. It's USB chargeable. 500 lumens. And that's what it looks like. And here it is. I really like it. I don't like this end right here. The the head of it, you'll call it. It's kind of big and gawky. But I really like the light, though. It's super bright. USB rechargeable uh, right here. Pull that plug out. Comes with a cord. Pop it in there. But um, let me turn the light off and uh, we'll take a look at how bright it is. Let's get this little guy off. And we'll turn this one off. Now I gotta be able to find the light. I know it's dark in here. I'm fooling around for the light. All right, here we go. Look how bright it is. That's high. Yeah, I know. You see all my my bed's not made. My clothes everywhere. I know. But that'd be high. You know, I got the light here in my hand. That's medium. That's low. That's make you lose your mind. SOS. And off. Anyhow, I really like that little light. So now I'm going to make my bed. <laughs> Anyhow, I really like that light. I kind of, I'm a thing. I got a thing for flashlights. I got another one laying over here. Here's another one I bought one time. But the, it's LED, but the unique thing about this, it extends out and you can turn the head on it. So that's the reason I bought that one. I don't, you, you guys know I'm a sucker for old trinkets. Um, if anybody ever wants to get me anything, which don't, I mean, I don't, I don't want gifts. I'm not a gift person, but if anybody ever got me anything, I like flashlights and, uh, Little trinket fire starters. Here's one here. Here's a magnesium rod, or not rod, but magnesium stick. That's a flint striker, and I got another one somewhere. It's probably probably in my uh, hiking stuff. Um, I don't know. Well, since I said that, let me let me turn you around. I'll show you my hiking stuff. I don't know how well we're gonna be able to see in here, but here's my bug net for my hammock. I'm not gonna pull it all out. But that's the bug net for my hammock. I keep a lot of my hiking stuff down here. Uh, here's this is a tie down cord and stakes for my shelter, my tarp. Um, I always keep a big roll paracord everywhere I go. Got my rain suit, which I ain't gonna pull it out. It's frog skin rain suit. This is that tarp or um shelter if you want to call it that 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 cord stuff went to here's my hammock and uh, well it ain't got the name displayed on the bag but 
pretty nice hammock, super light. That thing might, I mean, barely weigh a pound. I really like it. But yeah, a lot of my hiking, backpacking stuff, which I haven't been going here lately. I'm still messing with this flashlight. I haven't gone in quite a while because just other things going on and, and now the weather's caught up with me. First warm day I get, I'm going though. Uh, I think I went tent camping a few times this past season, but I can't remember two or three times for, but you know, I just hasn't had a lot going on. I just didn't get out as much as I wanted to, but this spring and maybe towards the end of winter, but this spring, definitely we're going to start getting out and doing some hammock camping. I enjoy it. Go hiking and, and camping out like that. Um, I've got the stove. Speaking of which, give me a second. Where is my wood stove? I didn't see it down there. There was. It was down there. I just overlooked it. This is my wood stove. Now, you, you, I think y'all have seen my little gas stove I use. Um, but I'll just go ahead and grab it since I'm at it. Sometimes I use this little gas stove. Uh, I didn't grab it on my canisters, but if you'll see it, screws on one of them little canisters. Everybody's seen these. I don't know if everybody's used them, but I know everybody's seen them. I'm trying to open it with one hand, so you have to forgive me about this Hollywood production here. Come on, open up. Anyway, I got that way around. There we go. You screw it on the canister and then a little small gas stove for backpacking or camping or hiking. Now this I got from Walmart. It's a Coleman brand. I like it. You can get them on Amazon anywhere from 20 to almost a hundred dollars. This is $12 at Walmart. You, like I always, I say it a hundred times, just go to Walmart. And unless you're, you're seriously Gonna be, I mean, doing some serious hiking and backpacking like the PCT or the Trans America Trail or you know, somewhere in Alaska or something. Unless you're going to do that, you don't need that real fancy, expensive equipment. Just pick up something that'll do the job. But anyway, this thing's great. I've had this almost a year. I just can't remember if I showed anybody or not. Folds up really tight. I always put it back in the box. But I use that and then. I use my wood stove. Well, actually, not this wood stove. I just bought this one. It's a new one, but I've, I've had one before. I can get it out with one hand here. And I'm not going to put it together. If I thought, I would already put it together for you. But pretty much what it is, this is the base on the inside. Then you have four of these pieces. This will be in the front. So you picture that being on the inside. That's where your fire is going to be right there. This is the front. And then you got three of these pieces right here, which is the side. All right, can you visualize that? One there, one there, and one there. This being the front. And they all have, have, they all have this deal right here because that's where your pot or something sits. And that hole is where you feed your little sticks in. You burn wood. Uh, little twigs or if you want to cut pieces that small or whatever you put it in there and this, these things work really well i've had one before and it just i don't know what i did somehow or another i had it laying somewhere but something got on it or i stepped on it or something but these got bent really bad so i just ordered another one off amazon i haven't gotten around to using this one yet but um I don't know if I'm going to keep carrying this one now that I got, I got me another wood stove. I like this. And I may keep carrying it. I mean, I'm always going to use it. I just used it the other day here in the, in the camper van. But I'm talking about when I go hiking, I don't know. This is this packs up so much thinner. So much better. And it takes up less space in a backpack than this does. Now, I know that looks really small. and I, But I always keep it in the box. So trying to keep dirt and whatever you know getting down them holes so I always keep it in the box this box is, is about the same size as that carrying that wood stove in but it's a lot wider and when you're backpacking you'd be surprised how much you know how fast the weight adds up on just little things I mean this alone is probably now I'm just guessing I haven't weighed it but that's at least it's at least two pounds. This, this is pretty light. That's probably, uh, it's not quite a pound. It's probably just right under it, pretty close to a pound, but right under it. 
Anywho, one day I'll, I'll get all my stuff out and set it up and, and show you my little camping outfit, my little hiking hammock camping outfit. Uh, just not going to drag it out in here today. The reason I'm inside right now, it's raining out there, so don't really want to be out there getting wet. So, anywho, but it's, it's you know, it's after five. It's getting towards the end of the day anyway. Winter time gets dark so early. Yeah, I might do that one day. Go out in the woods and set up all my gear and just show you what I use for hammock camping. Um, I don't know. We'll think about that. I might even might even do a camp. I don't know. Anywho, that's about it for today. Can't think of anything else. No. Can't really think of anything. But anyway, we'll just make this one short and sweet. Uh, just want to say hello to everybody, um, subscribers, and everyone. That's I got some new subscribers too. I appreciate y'all coming along and and uh, yeah, hang in there. If this if this if this video didn't bore you. I promise you the next one will. I promise. Anyway, just get out there and enjoy life. Have fun. Don't take things too serious. Life's too short to be serious about everything. <laughs> but anyway, I just want to say hello to everybody. Appreciate you stopping by. And until I see you again, God bless you.